Eighty dollars. to my channel or better yet welcome to the party if you're new here my name is Tira on this channel I do vlogs hair videos and I talk about whatever God puts on my heart so if you can tell by the title today is a vloggy vlog I have a photo shoot coming up on Saturday which I'm really excited about but I have a lot that I need to do so I was like let me bring you guys along because I haven't vlogged in a minute and just let you guys see the behind the scenes kind of thing you know so today is Tuesday. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't really know if I'm going to vlog every day. We're just going to have to play it by ear. But anyway, so I'm in the car. And I've been seeing a lot of people talk about like how doing vlogs in your car seems to get more views. Or like more entertaining. Not entertaining, but engaging. So I went to Amazon and I had got like the anti-slip dashboard pads, right? So I got these pads because I want to put them on my car so that like when I'm doing vlogs, I can still talk to y'all as I'm like cruising down the street in my 6'4", you know? So I wanted to wait until I had started vlogging again to show you guys like how these things work and you know, rate them or whatever. But if I'm honest with y'all, I've had these things since for a hot minute now, if we're being honest. But let's see. Don't eat. Twitter must be accompanied by parents to use this product. Let me find out y'all out here eating these pads. It's supposed to be an anti-slip pad. It's not intended for rough, oily, corrosive, delicate, or granular surfaces. Okay. So you're not going to tell me how to use it? It just said it leaves no residue. You rinse under water and soap to renew its stickiness. It won't melt in the hot summer. Y'all, I don't even tell you how to use it, but child, I'm nervous. Let me reposition y'all. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to put it like right here because that way you're up close and personal. So it has like two sides. It has this side that's like textured but then it has this side that's like smooth i don't know if y'all can tell so i'm guessing smooth side would go here and then the bumpy side would go on top right that's what you would think but um that's crazy how they did not give me no directions like are you not embarrassed so i'm just gonna eh, do like this like that and then, let me turn y'all around. Okay, so this is what it looks like on, I'm about to reveal. Ah. So this is just what it looks like. I'm gonna stick you guys up here to see if it actually worked. Easy, easy. Ciao, y'all gonna be sliding all over the place. This thing did not work, y'all. Did I put, no, y'all gonna be sliding all over the place. I can just feel it right now. It did not work. It's like I wasted my money. Well, that's a bummer, especially since I wanted to talk to y'all while I was driving down the street. Let me figure out another way to talk to y'all. Okay, y'all, so I ended up flipping it the other way around where the smooth side is on top, and we're going to see if it actually works this time. Okay, I feel like this side may work. We're just going to have to see. So, child, I really hope and pray that y'all do not go sliding across this dashboard because, sweetie. So, I'm going to put in the maps. I feel like I have a general idea of where it is but you can never be too sure with these types of things it's like 15 ish minutes away which isn't that far but because everything in charlotte is just like so spread out if we're being honest y'all i'm so nervous <laughs> here goes nothing nothing at all Mounting route to michael's you hear that i got the british man y'all but we're gonna have to turn him off so that well actually i guess i won't well, actually, I think I might because I don't need y'all to know too much about where I live at. I'm going to turn him off right now. But without further ado, let's go. I feel like people just know, like, hey, like, Tierra, she'll always be there. Tierra will always come through because nine times out of ten, I really, truly will come through. Like, sometimes I've dropped what I was doing and, like, I would run across town to help a friend with something because they were upset. Or I would talk on the phone for hours with somebody because they just had a lot going on and they wanted to, like, talk it out but that's time that i could have been pouring into myself that's time that i could have been continuing to put in time and energy into my business and into my endeavors that i got going on and it's like being a full-time content creator it's time consuming it really is and i love 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 being an entrepreneur i love having my own 
time block. Like I love being able to decide what I want to do each day, what I'm going to get up, that kind of thing. Like I love the freedom that comes with being an entrepreneur. I really truly do. It's just being a content creator, it does require a little more time and energy than most people realize, you know. So obviously you have to film, you have to edit, you have emails, you have like well for me I have to do like a lot of research because I feel like I'm still kind of new to the whole influencing content creating thing and so I want to definitely pursue this long term and obviously make money with it but also I want to build a community so I've been trying to you know figure different things out about that so on top of the researching and then I do have like another source of income that I do in the morning so that I don't have to fully rely on partnerships and stuff that way I can still create content for you guys like I don't have to do it because I expect a paycheck you feel me it was like yeah I may work from home and yeah I may seem like I have all this free time now because I'm not a teacher anymore but sweetie my time is still very valuable and I really truly wish that people would understand that you know I guess I'm gonna put on some jams unless I have anything else to talk to you guys about but honestly it's so convenient having you guys here like I don't think y'all understand like sweetie we cruising down the street in our six four like what about it oh all right so i just got to michael's and i really want to take you guys inside i don't know i just feel very adventurous i feel very like i'm that girl i'm gonna like, carry my camera around and ah uh, like that but if i'm being honest with y'all child i say that now but then once i get inside i don't really know so part of me is like should i just bring my phone kind of videotape that way i don't know but this is just a disclaimer because you know like i mentioned before i'm still trying to get used to this okay so don't come from my heart come from my head because my head is getting all in the way but yeah let me go inside Y'all would be so proud of me. I looked at that camera. I sat on a little aisle and I was filming for you guys. I was filming. So, I just love Michaels. I have all these flowers. First of all, I need to see how much I spent on all these flowers. You never have like a sale, $5.99. But first of all, when I had got to the checkout and was ready to check out, y'all, why was it at that moment that I looked into my purse and realized? my wallet was at home <laughs> that's not good thank god for apple pay because i would have been s-o-l so i ended up spending 80 dollars hold on y'all 86 dollars and 72 cents wow but i saved 54 dollars interesting I think the most that I spent on a flower was seven seventy nine because they were on sale for nine ninety nine, and then they were um, an additional forty percent off. I think. Yeah, not sure if y'all can see that, but anywho, whatever I do not use, it will be gone back. Trust and believe that. So, whew, throw that in the back, child. So it's like four forty one. So I'm trying to debate. Do I want to go to Target or should I pull up on JB? What do I want to do? But I'm telling y'all, like, literally, nobody be studying the owl that you're on until you be up there, you know, you put in work, you look into the flowers, and then people keep wanting to get in the way. Ma'am, you weren't even paying me no attention. You weren't even paying this flower owl any attention until I was over here doing my thing. Now you're in my way. I'm trying to mix and match flowers, and you're in my way. And then you left empty handed, which made me believe that I was correct. You was there for no reason. Anywho, child, so there's that. But I'm going to figure out what I'm trying to do next. Ah. Okay, so I'm back. 
And I wanted to show you guys my Shein package that I got that came with, I think, two tops for the photo shoot. And then it came with three pairs of pants. So let me go grab that really quickly. So I got three pairs of pants shop because I was like, I don't know if they're going to fit the way they need to fit. And I don't have time to be returning stuff. Sweet, the photo shoot is on Saturday. Today's Tuesday. Keep up, keep up. So ah, I really, really hope that these jeans work. wear fashion style fashion tag on the back and I did get these in a size small I think all my jeans are in a size small so hopefully they fit y'all all right so these are the first pair on and I don't know y'all let me bring y'all closer so like I was saying these are the first pair on and I don't know y'all I really wish that it wasn't like what is this why is it so gappy right here but I mean honestly they fit my waist pretty good so I feel like in the photo shoot these might be kind of cute we'll see the next pair Whew. okay so these are the next pair and I really like the color wash on these jeans y'all like these are so cute and I guess they're giving more like straight leg vibes and again these are a size small this is what the back looks like but I thought this would be really cute with the photo shoot. I really like this type of denim wash. So I'm kind of happy with these. All right, and these are the third and final pair. So this is what they look like. I'm not mad at the wash. My only thing is, y'all, why does it like my waters? Like, be for real. This is definitely going back and i know that there's like that style now where people wear like the little crop ankle pants and they wear like their shoes and stuff i haven't really gotten hip to that style yet so yeah these will be going back but i did end up getting two tops because i'm, I'm gonna like insert a picture with inspiration but it's like the flowers are covering the tube top and then like they have on like jeans there's a backdrop behind them so obviously they're not going to be topless so I got two tops. I'm hoping that they'll be like around my skin color and that the flowers will like hide them. So the first is just like this bandeau top and this feels like really good um, quality. I got it in a size small also. So this is just like the bandeau top. It's a brown color. It's not a perfect match of my skin complexion, but it's gonna do the job because the flowers are gonna be covering this part and then like I'll have my jeans and stuff. The one I got was like, it's basically like a little bra. I'm not even gonna hold y'all to it. And then um, like you have the bra and they have like the flowers covering it. I'm leaning more so towards the bandeau and I'll just keep this to wear like underneath shirts and stuff. But if the bandeau don't work, we might have to resort to plan B. But yeah, this is just what it looks like. I think to a chalet so i just did that jb went to get our dinner so i'm probably just going to relax a little bit because i feel like i've been running all over the place all day jb came with the goodies <laughs> so we got food from show mars and you know how we do things i show you guys what i got to eat right so this time is different i'm normally you know sitting down but this time i'm standing up trying new things so he got us both a fruit cup 
And honestly, I just love how they don't have melons. I mean, they have cantaloupes in here. I wish it would have like strawberries and blueberries, but honestly, it's okay, y'all. It's okay. So we have like our little fruit cup. She's cute or whatever. But for some reason, I feel like you probably got like a fish fillet or something. Oh, you got a shrimp platter. Okay. You got a shrimp platter. It looks, it smells really good, y'all. Let me bring you down. So he got a shrimp platter and it smells so good. Uh, it smells so good, y'all. Like, look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna give y'all a close up later. And then I got a salad. I had got their grilled chicken shrimp salad. It's kind of bothering me that you can't see my face. Hopefully we're straight. But I had got the grilled chicken chef salad with no cheese, extra egg, extra cucumber, and of course with the pita. But look at this, y'all. Oh! Literally, when it comes to Shellmars, their salads are the bomb.com. But let me give y'all a close-up. He got the shrimp platter, so it comes with like shrimp, hush puppies, fries, and instead of coleslaw, he had got a fruit bowl. So it looks so good, y'all. Oh! Now, this is what I got, y'all. I got the salad, and honestly, if you're going to go to Shamar's, try their salads, y'all. Their salads are so freaking good. So, I got the grilled chicken chef salad, and it comes with, like, boiled eggs, cucumbers, onions, tomatoes, obviously the grilled chicken. I got a pita with it, and it comes with cheese, but I didn't want cheese. Mm-mm-mm. The flavors are melting on my tongue. Hey, y'all. It is a new day. Today is Wednesday. Um, let me take this Today is Wednesday, and let me catch you guys up. So it's currently 11.58. I'm about to go to the gym. I honestly was not going to go to the gym at first because I don't know if I can see outside, but today is just like so cold. I think the high is like, I think it's like 41 right now, 41, 47, somewhere in there. It's cold, it's cloudy. It's just not giving what it needed to give. Child, my cycle just came on. If you know how that is, you know how that is. So I just went to lay in bed, but I was like, girl, no, because I got stuff to do, okay? I got stuff to do. So I was like, girl, let's go to the gym. We're going to do upper body because it's upper body day. We're going to do our like, warm up on the treadmill, hit those weights. We're going to go home and shower because you have a meeting at two. And that's that. So I was like, girl, you have to be productive today. You can't just sit around and do nothing. Like, what? You can't do that every day because you're not going to get nowhere. You have to build the life you want today, right now. Definitely just ran that light, but what am I going to for all that? Honestly, what really motivated me to go to the gym was, I was like, girl, your goal for this year is to go to the gym four times a week. You went to the gym Monday, you didn't go Tuesday, today's Wednesday. You need to go Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, basically, so that you can get your four days in for the week. So I was like, you know what? You don't even have to get cute, girl. Just throw on a sweatshirt, sweatpants, and your little shoes and call it a day. So that's exactly what I did. That actually reminds me, I need to call that wax place because my cycle came on, so I can't get my wax today. I was supposed to get it today at 4.30. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen today. It's not. Oh yeah, actually, let me call them first while I'm at a red light. Hi, uh, my name is Tier Bivens. Um, I have an appointment today at 4:30, and I was wondering if I could reschedule for next week. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That was weird. She was like, I guess somebody came in or something. I guess somebody came in or something. So she was coming out for five minutes. Sweetie, I'm gonna be at the gym. Like, I'm not trying to, uh. You see, today's just very much giving. It's the type of day, but I'm trying to not let how I feel affect what's really going on around me. Like, nothing really bad has really bad nothing bad has happened today for me to try to make it into like this bad day you know so i'm not going to do that i'm not gonna do that but y'all i um i don't know where in the devil my airpods are but i cannot find them i cannot find her she is lost and i haven't had them since january 19th was the last day that i used them 
So I'm trying to think like, what was I doing January 19th to where I could have lost my, my AirPods? So now I'm like, okay, well obviously I need AirPods. So I'm like, should I go and buy some new ones like now, like today, or should I wait? But honestly, so we're going to the gym. thing is not thing in uh, Amazon do better ah! y'all I really should have known the vibe of this sticky pad thing when it didn't come in no directions that should have been the first red flag child but yeah I'm at the gym so I'm gonna hit y'all back afterwards hey y'all hey can y'all see me I feel like it looks probably kind of dark because the sun is coming this way child should I try to fix it or should I leave it? I don't know because I feel like it looks kind of secure right here because the way I had it before, child, it was slipping and sliding all across this dashboard. And I was like, girl, like. <laughs> Please, Lord Jesus, let that work. Okay, I think the last time I talked to y'all, it was Wednesday, I think. Well, sweetie, today's Friday. <laughs> Today is Friday. I'm so sorry y'all, but I just, I don't know. I just feel like I have not been able to get anything done lately. Like, I don't know what's up with that, but I'm not here for it. I'm really not. So Wednesday, I think I took you guys with me to the gym. Well, I was going to the gym and then that was that. But yes, yeah, so I went to the gym and I came back and I had so much I had to do before Bible study. So I had did all that. Bible study happened, it was dark. I was like not in the mood to really record anything. Plus I didn't really do anything in regards to my photo shoot that I have tomorrow. Which is tomorrow, like how did that even happen? Like it was literally just, what, Monday, Tuesday? And now it's basically Friday. Where does time go? But today was Thursday, and literally all day Thursday, I feel like I was doing my hair. Uh, Y'all, I'm just like so frustrated because I feel like everything I wanted to do this week in regards to the vlog, in regards to editing, filming, all that jazz, I feel like it did not get done. And it's really upsetting me. It really is. But today's a new day. Can't dwell on the past. So I guess it is what it is. So I'm on my way to my wax appointment to get like my eyebrows and underarms wax. If you've been keeping up, I have like a photo shoot tomorrow and I've been meaning to like show you guys Maybe that'll work better. So, as I was saying, I feel like it's probably gonna be dark. I'm so sorry, y'all. So sorry, but I can't keep doing this and driving at the same time. I can't. But what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I guess today, or honestly, truly, probably tomorrow, whichever one comes first, I have to show you guys how I got inspiration and like how I created the photo shoot that I wanted and talked about it with the photographer and stuff. Cause I don't know if it's just me, but I'm the type of girl, like, I'm very organized and I like to make PowerPoints, like Word documents, and just take notes on things that I want to do and get like post pictures and stuff, just to make sure that I know what posts I want to do and all that jazz. So I wanted to show you guys my little PowerPoint creation. I want to do it tonight, but we'll see. So I want to show you guys like all that. Okay, why are there so many sheriffs out here? But also I need to try on the outfit that I'm wearing tomorrow. So I already know which pair of jeans I want to wear, but the little, I don't know if I'm going to wear the bando or like the little bras that cover the flowers. I need to figure out which flower bouquet arrangement I want to use for my picture pictures because I did grab quite a few and I honestly feel like the photographer might help me better pick a pair. But we're trying to do like this blue background and then he's going to like flash the light a certain way to create like this hue, this glowy highlight effect or whatever. It's real cute, it's real cute. What else I gotta do? So I gotta try on the outfits. I gotta show you guys the PowerPoint. I need to obviously do my hair. It was not supposed to take me this long to do everything. But I did like a braiding curl. The tutorial will be up. I don't know if it'll be up before this vlog or after this vlog. But definitely stay tuned. I have a makeup appointment tomorrow. I'm obviously gonna take you guys with me. Uh -huh. I feel like that's about it. I kind of wanted to like record for like TikTok and Instagram, like a little get ready with me for a photo shoot. 
but child we will see we'll see if I can get to that tomorrow because my makeup appointment is at 1 the photo shoot is at 3 but I have to get my best friend Amber because she's gonna help me like vlog the photo shoot and honestly probably help me with like posts and stuff so I probably should ask I probably should text her and be like hey girl we still want one Honestly, we have to look at my battery life to see if I'll film inside because I did not bring a tripod. All I really brought was what I could stuff in my little tote bag, which was this little on-the-go stick. So, I probably won't record for my wax appointment. But I also didn't show y'all, I had got a little phone car mount so like I could do mini vlogs or like even just like videos of me like driving in the car, you know cruising down the street in my 64 you know that jazz right i need to install that but sweetie that probably won't get done no time soon but while i have you guys attention as you guys know you know i'm a content creator that kind of thing i guess like my content creation had started back in 2020 was when i was you know actively pursuing it but i wasn't posting seriously because i was just so camera shy and i had a lot of like self-doubt that people would not like my content people would not like my presence on social media don't even know where that thought process came from but that was kind of my thought process but i did start afro may of 2020 when the pandemic had hit and we were like, you know, quarantined and stuff. So that's why I have a little hair page. I'm making my videos, that kind of thing. Then I have went back to school, and then I just kind of stopped content creating. Not that I didn't enjoy it anymore, but as a, I was a nursing student back then. So like, as a nursing student, so I did not have time to be recording, editing videos. It wasn't until like 2021 when I had posted another TikTok video and it kind of blew up. And I was like, okay, cool, this is cute or whatever. But again, I wasn't actively pursuing content creating and like making videos and stuff. And so it wasn't until like my Permod set video had like really blew up. And then I had made this tutorial and I just got like so many followers and so much support on TikTok. So I started making videos back on TikTok and Instagram in 2021. And then 2022 was when I was actively pursuing content creating. So I didn't start like pushing videos and pictures and I guess actually considering myself to be a content creator until I would say like the spring when I started to you know make more videos and stuff and so that was a blast but just to even get to that point from like 2020 to 2021 I did so much research you guys like I was on YouTube we had different like YouTube strategies for Instagram TikTok how to beat the algorithm blah 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 like how to create a media kit a rate sheet when i tell you i went down the rabbit hole of content creating i went down the rabbit hole of content creating i just found out so much right and i'm still like learning so much about content creating like the learning never stops i'll tell you that much but sweetie what they don't tell you on youtube what they don't tell you online is about these taxes okay and that's that's a problem because last year I was actively pursuing it and so I did make quite a bit of money so I obviously had to file taxes I'm in the process of getting everything organized for me to file as a sole proprietor then also to file my personal income and stuff just that in and of itself is a lot I don't have anyone around me that does content creating I don't have anyone around me that has intel in this really like my dad has his own business so he's able to help with write-offs and like opening a separate account and like all that business stuff he's able to help me with but in terms of like taxes it's looking more like i'm gonna have to get an accountant or something i don't know but it's literally february i know i have a little bit of time before you know tax season ends or whatever but i want to get ahead of it i've been like running around trying to do that like i finally printed off all my bank statements so now i need to go through them and highlight different write-off things from that's something else that i've been in the process of doing on top of getting ready for this photo shoot on top of like my second source of income on top of content creating and now youtube like i have all these videos i need to edit believe it or not recording is not the problem the problem for me is editing because i get so in this mindset of being a perfectionist that i just second guess every little thing which takes me so long to finally get to exporting the video and uploading it into youtube that kind of thing but then also i feel like my time in the day just gets away from me and i'm like bro what am I doing all day? I like write everything that I do in my planner every day. So it's like I'm doing stuff. But I guess I just have so much on my plate that it's kind of like a lot for one person. And there's only 24 hours in the day. You know, you have to sleep, that kind of thing. But this week, I've been waking up between 5 and 7. And I do feel like I've been 
able to achieve more than I probably would have if I would have woken up at my usual like eight o'clock, you know? So that's something I'm probably gonna have to continue to do just so I can get my editing time in, just so I can get my planning, and just so I can have time to rest. So I can pull back into you guys and just time to be in God's presence because sweetie, I can't do this by myself and I already know that I can't do this by myself. If God don't do it, it won't get done. So definitely making sure that I keep him in the midst of everything is like so important. My throat is so dry y'all. So I will hit you guys back soon. So I just finished getting my eyebrows and armpits waxed. Let me show you my eyebrows, so please. Please don't say nothing about my hair. And I promise you, nobody wants to park beside you until you pull out the camera and you start talking to yourself. But this is what they look, hold on y'all. Should I take my hat off? <laughs> okay, okay y'all, enjoy my hair. I'm still doing it, okay? But like y'all see it the precision I'm definitely gonna leave her instagram down below and right here you guys can book with her if you're in the charlotte area so i'm about to go home finish recording this hairstyle and then try on those outfits and stuff for you guys and later on tonight me and jb are gonna go see that movie something about the cabin something about i don't know it's something about the wrestler from that movie onion on netflix he um he's in this and he's playing a serious role honestly i'm gonna just like leave the name right here because i don't even remember the name of the movie if i'm being honest but yeah me and jb are gonna see that later tonight so i definitely want to have my hair done and get everything ready for my photo shoot tomorrow but they were playing this one song on the radio and i was like bro i gotta listen to the song on the way home so let me play it a little bit for y'all I'm literally so freaking crazy, bro. So, if you guys remember, I was telling you that I think I lost my AirPods or I didn't know where they were, and I was thinking like I needed to buy a new pair. I'm like digging in my purse, like in my um tote bag, I have like these like dividers. Can y'all see? I have like these dividers, right? So, I had went behind one of the dividers and I went under it, y'all. Excuse how messy my purse is, but why did I find my AirPods? Like, girl, welcome back. We missed you. You've been gone for two weeks. So I was telling you guys earlier how I like to create a little PowerPoint for my photo shoots to help me with different poses and just kind of brainstorm everything that I need. And so I'm going to show you guys the PowerPoint. And honestly, truly, y'all, when you look at it, it's really nothing crazy it's nothing fancy but it's just something that i like to do to be organized okay so let me turn you around and also y'all i could not come back on here and not get into the hair details y'all see it so i did a braid and curl and i did record a tutorial so you know that'll be up soon <laughs> but it came out really good let me put y'all down it came out really good tomorrow though I am going to stretch it out because when you see my inspiration on the PowerPoint, you'll see that I'm going for like big hair. And this, she's cute. She's just not big like I wanted her to be. Okay, so like I was saying, this is the little PowerPoint and y'all gonna see it's so simple, but I feel like it's effective. So yeah, so this is like our February photo shoot with Rod's Visuals. We have like this collaboration slash partnership kind of going on. And <laughs> I just wanted to give him like a little background because again, y'all, I'm so extra. But basically, like I was saying, the purpose of this flower child photo shoot is because I'm planning to go live with my YouTube channel. Um, I was planning to record a behind the scenes video of my YouTube channel just to kind of like give him a heads up that I will be vlogging for you guys. And so these are just like some inspiration pictures that I had got off of Pinterest. So inspiration, you are a flower child, beautiful child. And so let's get into it. Look at these beauties. But like you see the natural beauty 
and like minimum makeup you see the flowers you see the jeans and like the no top kind of type of vibe which is where like my bandeau top and like the bra come into play so that's just a little overview of like some of the poses that i wanted to do and then this is another lot of inspiration so this one was more so just like showing the makeup and i kind of do want to get like a close-up with like the flowers right there also and in this one i like how she's just like in the middle and it's like all eyes on her and i really like this one because there's like the different focus it's like different flower colors and there's like that blue i don't know if it's called like a hue or blue background but that's kind of the background that we're going to go for with the photo shoot this is like more inspiration i see like they have some with stools so i kind of do want to take some with like the stools and i really do kind of like this one where she's like holding the flowers i feel like that's so cute and i do want some close-ups but as you can see i can't really tell if they're shirtless i'm not gonna lie i feel like for most of them they probably are shirtless but sweetie not over here not around these parks okay so not me and then this is just like makeup nails outfit and before i had even started this week i had got my toes done so i do have like french white toes i do have some press on nails i want to show you guys for my makeup i am going for a minimal oh yeah my throat but for my makeup i am going for a minimalistic hair free type of vibe and then just for the outfits my brown strapless crop top and then the jeans and i think that that's it oh hair inspiration so the, now you guys see why i said i need to stretch my hair because i wanted to do something big like this and on the lowest of keys i would not be surprised if she has like a wash and go or something that's low key the vibe i'm kind of getting like wash and go maybe like a twist out finger coils i don't know but yeah so that's just the little powerpoint that i have put together but y'all tell me that you're extra without being extra so there's that me and jb we are going to the movies the movie is later tonight at eight i think and it's like around seven so i'm not gonna be able to do these nails now but i definitely want to show you guys some nails that i had got so the first pair that i got i got these from tj maxx so this is what they look like the first pair and i think they were really cute i've never put on press on nails before so this is gonna be interesting i'm not gonna put them on right now because i'm about to eat me some chicken wings when he get back okay so that's a dead mission but i'm a little nervous child i think that one's really cute i might do that one honestly but then the other one is literally just a regular French tip. So they do like the Kiss Salon Acrylic French Medium Length. Nothing too crazy from Kiss. I got these from like my local beauty supply store. And so, Loki, these might be easier to put on. Oh, it did come with the, the cuticle pusher and the nail filer. Because I was like, I hope it comes with one because I don't have one. But these are so cute. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one I'm gonna do. This is the one. Yeah, yeah, you see it. You see it. Too cute. So yeah, that's the one. Am I still focused? <laughs> that's the one that I'm gonna do tomorrow. Cause it's just so cute. Is this the thumb one? Yup. Yo, I'm gonna be like, And yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow how I put it on and stuff. It does come with like their Kiss Pink Gel Glue. So it comes with like this little glue, which is really cool because I'm gonna need it. But also while I was out, I had got two other, actually I got three things, hold on. Okay, so while I was out, I also ended up getting some other nail glues because I wasn't sure if the one that came in the package would be enough. So again, I got like two other Kiss ones. There we go. This is like the regular nail glue one, right? And then I also had got the brush on nail glue. There we go. This is the other one that I had got. So I didn't know if I needed to brush it on. I didn't know if I wanted to like put the dot on, that kind of thing. But then I also, y'all, got like these nail adhesive tabs. And I feel like I got these from Amazon because, and I haven't even opened them, look. I haven't even opened them. But it's like these nail adhesive tabs. So you put it's like double-sided tape basically for your nails so you put one side on your nail and then you put the other side on your on the fake nail and it's supposed to adhere because of so many of these little tabs 
And I just realized they come in different shapes and sizes on them. Part of me really truly wants to try one on now. Let's see. Okay, so that one obviously is not a thumb. Okay, so this is the thumb one. But how do you take it? Oh, is it peel off? Oh, you like peel it off. Ah, and then you take it off. Okay, also I am going to give you a better look once I actually do it. But you like, you take it right. And you just like put it down like that. Like so like that. Massage it on. And then you're supposed to peel it off. Right? You peel it off. And then you take your nail. And you stick it on. Ooh. Obviously I have to do a better job. But honestly y'all, this, this might be it. Look at how cute she is, y'all. So, let me show you closer up. This is what the little adhesive tabs are. If I remember correctly, I got these off of Amazon. So, I'll link it in the description box in my Amazon storefront. Army is like, will it come off now? Ah! I don't want to break the nail. Dang. So, is it stuck on forever? Whoops. I guess we'll see in the morning. No, I can't be walking around with just one nail on. Bro, I shouldn't have done that. So let's see. Woo! Okay, so I just ripped it off. So JB just got back with the food. And we're kind of late a little bit. It's 7.38. Like I said, the movie's at 8, 8.15. But I could not not show y'all the food. Like, you know how we do it on this channel. So we went to this place called Checks here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Their wings are bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. So let me show you guys what we got really quickly. So we had got fries, we got like a combo. So we got like the wings, fries, and a drink. So like the fries, we come in these paper bags. But I don't know why, but like I feel like fries that come in a paper bag always hit different. Maybe it's just me. So we got a little fries. <laughs> oh. Amen. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I feel like this one's mine because it feels light. Yep. Can y'all get some flavor I got? I got spicy honey mustard. It's gonna hit every time. Try it and say it and put you on. This is what they look like. Oh, I'm definitely gonna give y'all a close up because y'all gotta see this in 4K. And then JB got, oh, he got barbecue. Oh, he got barbecue and Cajun. Did he get, oh, he got boneless. Ooh. This is what his looks like. But let me show y'all up close because y'all know how we do. So this is what it looks like. I had to add a little flash because y'all definitely need to see this. So good, y'all. So again, it's a spicy honey mustard. And then JB had got barbecue and Cajun. So, and y'all, this stuff is amazing. Like, 
Ugh, it just smells so good, y'all. It smells so good. So let's get started on this hair because it's 9.08. I don't think it's gonna take me that long. I didn't show you guys. When I go to bed with like primer off, lacy bra sets, anything of that nature, I literally just put my hair in a pineapple. I put my scarf on, I put the bonnet on, and I go to sleep, okay? I don't do too much when it comes to my natural hair. I don't. And this has been working for me for years. So why switch it if it ain't broke? So to stretch my hair out, I have like this cheap tech blow dryer. I do have the nozzle on it to just control and concentrate the airflow. So it's just on the part that I'm blow drying. So I'm gonna do that. I'm probably gonna do it off camera because I do want to do like a little TikTok reel on this process. So I'm gonna go do that and then come back and show you guys. okay so it's been a long day i'm just gonna fill you guys in on what's been going on so first of all still recording on my phone because the battery charger that i went and got from best buy sweetie it's not charging anything so the camera off the window the next complaint that i have about today so you see i got my makeup done right you see you see my sis did what she needed to do and i am going to link her in the description box below but you know, the camera was um, dead. I'm gonna use my phone, but I got to the appointment late and I was just so upset about the camera. No videos for my makeup. So there's that. Makeup still looks good though. So that was strike number two. Battery, not being able to film makeup, two strikes. You wanna know what the third strike was? The strike that really put the icing on the cake. So after makeup appointment, you know, I'm pumped, right? I'm like, okay, like my camera might not be acting right, but I have a phone. I'm gonna delete stuff off my phone and I'm just gonna get the behind the scenes of the photo shoot on my phone, right? Like we have to persevere. We have to work through the things. We have to work through the obstacles. I try to hold us back, right? So I get to my car, I'm feeling cute or whatever. I see that the photographer had hit me up. I'm like, okay, he hit me up and he called me. Something must not be right, right? So I call him back or whatever. And y'all, at the studio that he normally shoots with, the owner had reached out to him and told him that there was an altercation at the studio. And whoever was there at that time, the altercation must have been like really big. And so the owner had to call the police, right? So he called the police and apparently the owner had canceled photo shoots for the rest of the day, right? So this is like, I finished my makeup appointment around 1.15. My photo shoot was supposed to be at three o'clock. How, how, how lovely is this? So if you're keeping up, if you're keeping up, my camera was acting crazy. I chose not to film my makeup getting done because of the camera. And now the photo shoot is canceled. Like I said, that put the icing on the cake and I was like, bro, you know what? Like, I'm so pissed. And I told him, I was like, bro, like I literally just got my makeup done. And so he was like, yeah, I'm gonna try to, you know, find another studio, that kind of thing. No other studio was found. So I hit up my best friend, Amber, because she was supposed to be going with me to the photo shoot to kind of just get the behind the scenes footage for you guys. And so I told her the situation and she was like, girl, you know what, we're just gonna go out and we're gonna take pictures of you and your makeup because you deserve that, you know? Like, you're still gonna get some type of picture, right? But I really truly appreciate her for that. Like, when I tell you that's my girl, that's my girl, right? So we went to go get coffee, and then we went to this really cute um, Asian street food type of restaurant. I'm gonna make sure that I insert footage that I got from that.
Street food. It was really cute. It was a vibe or whatever. And then after that, well, even before that, we went to Target. So I'm going to insert the clip of when I was at Target and I had found that this really cute white cream jacket. And the reason why I went to Target was because I was like, well, if I'm going to take pictures, I can't take pictures in this ugly sweatshirt. Like, I need something cute that's really going to sit off the hair, the makeup, the vibe, you know? So we went to Target. And, uh, and Target never disappoints, okay? And so that jacket I showed you guys, I got it for $25. Can you beat that? So we went and took some really cute pictures. I'm going to insert them on the screen for you guys. So, um... Yeah, it kind of lifted my spirits, but at the same time, I was kind of bummed. I am doing a vlog on like a week of like behind the scenes type of stuff. There was no photo shoot, so bummer. But we are going to like reschedule and that kind of thing. But now I have to make a whole nother makeup appointment. Now I have to do my hair again. And I'm like, well, should I do the same hairstyle? Should I do something different? I don't know, but real bummer but to make it up jb went to like this caribbean restaurant that my best friend had her graduation food catered from and oh my gosh y'all when i tell you this food is so good it is so freaking good so that made me so excited to be able to get that food so i'm like ah, like food is literally the love of my life so as always i'm going to show you guys the food before i close out this vlog okay y'all so like i mentioned i am going to unbox um, this food for you guys because ugh, when i tell you i'm ready to eat i'm so ready to eat so would it be a caribbean food hall if you don't have fried plantains like be for real be for real so i got a side of fried plantains and y'all they just smell oh they smell so good look at that mm. Mm -mm -mm. the flavors are already melting under my tongue Okay, and then oh, JB had got fries, and I tell y'all that man loves himself some fries. He loves himself some fries. Oh, I'm so I'm ready for y'all to see what I got. Is this mine or is this JB's? I feel like oh, this one's mine. This one's mine. So y'all already know. Y'all already know the drill. I am going to show you guys a close up. But so for mine, I got oxtails collards. And don't hate me, don't hate me. I know I'm dairy free, but y'all, I haven't had mac and cheese in forever. And I just really truly feel like this mac and cheese is gonna be out this world. So me and my tummy, you know what? We're just gonna have to suffer. JB, he's just gonna have to suffer, okay? Because the lactate pills don't do nothing to me. <laughs> the lactate pills don't help sweetie. That's why I'm dairy free. But we're gonna eat this and I have to do a reset. I have to do a cleanse right after I eat this. So yeah, there's that. But y'all, oh, with the rice and peas. And I don't even think I told y'all like about my nationality, but I am part Haitian. So yeah. So I mean, Caribbean food is like in my veins, you know? It's in my veins. And so JB has got, oh, it's so heavy. Um, yeah, he got curry chicken, rice and peas. And then two orders of fries but i'm going to actually show you guys his close-up because i don't want to spill it so i don't know what it is about filming on your camera and then filming on your phone but for some reason i feel like when i film on my phone the lighting don't be hitting but these are the fries i was telling you about the seasoned fries y'all mm, they just look and smell so good and then this is the curry chicken and the rice and peas oh i know y'all see it mm. are you ready for my meal my meal I got, I already said, the collards, the mac and cheese. Can we get into the oxtails? If you wanna know the key to my heart, sweetie, the key to my heart, well, one is food, but if we wanna get like specific, next is oxtails. And then this is the, what you call it? The plantains. Oh my God. This literally just made me happy. But this video did not really go as I wanted it to, but I'm still gonna post it because I need y'all to see what I be going through behind the scenes. Because when I tell y'all I be going through stuff, I be going through stuff. And because I was so stressed and like busy and upset today, I didn't post anything on TikTok, Instagram, nothing sweetie. So you're gonna get this vlog. But yeah, if you made it to this part of the video, thank you guys so much for your unconditional love and support i really truly appreciate everything that you guys do and everything that you guys are and if you're not true 
to the Zuri fam, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time I post a video and like this video so that I can pop up on your page more often. Okay, and so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.